So like, welcome to my new house. <laughs> I wish this were my new house. This place is amazing. What's up everybody? This is Tom. This is day nine, I believe. I think it's day nine of what I'm calling hashtag running out. I think I did that wrong. Isn't it like this? <laughs> that would make sense because that's that's a hashtag. Hashtag running out. I don't know. I'm running out of names, so therefore it fits. Yeah, day nine. This is a little, it's not quite a tiny house, but it is a tiny cabin. At least that's how the marketing for this place went. A tiny cabin right outside of Clemson, South Carolina. I don't know. Let me just show you around because I, when I got here a couple days ago, fell in love. I was like, if I can live in a place like this, maybe not outside of, out of, outside of Clemson, South Carolina, but this place in and of itself is amazing. You can see right here, this like awesome couch area. I mean, this living room is huge. Kitchen table, got all your, your kitchen necessities, bathroom, laundry, everything. Boom. This like is amazing. But the best part by far is this little magical realm. We'll see if I can climb up the stairs. <laughs> but I'll at least climb a couple steps. It's like this loft area where there's the bed where I've been sleeping quite soundly. And on the other side, if I ever got a roommate, a bed over there too. A lot of crawl space, probably not great for 75 year olds, but I just turned 32, so I'm getting closer and closer to 75. <sighs> So I've been isolating here for, <laughs> how many days has it been now? This is day three of being here and I head out tomorrow, back on the road tomorrow. But it's been really good being here for three days. I've gotten a lot done. Been making a lot of preparations for a retreat that I'm putting together for the second year in a row for our supporters on Yob. And that's really exciting. So I've gotten a ton done as far as that goes. And beyond the work, beyond just projects and um, writings, it's been good to just have this place to just rest and recharge. I'm hoping to do more videos like these along the road, places I go, eclectic places that I see. This trip has been something, truthfully, that I thought I would do months earlier, and it's still happening now. It's, I'm still on the road, and I'm hashtagging my life again. <laughs> It feels repetitive and it also feels brand new, all the same. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I feel like from the very first time I hit the road, when I moved to California nine years ago, I feel like God has spoken to me while I'm behind the steering wheel, while I'm seeing cities and mountains breeze past my window. It's like, it's this inertia, this movement that I've never felt alone in. I think that's maybe the biggest part of traveling and, and traveling like I tend to do, which is like weeks or even months unfettered. That's so appealing to me is the sense that I'm never alone. And I guess it's harder for me to realize that when I'm stable, when I have a house, when I have rent payments, when I have utility bills. I don't know. There's a sense of wonder and a sense of um, truly relying on something beyond myself. That's not to say that I'm not relying on something beyond myself when I have an apartment. <sighs> it's a different kind of reliance. I guess when I'm on the road, I learn reliance in a whole new way, in a more dramatic way, I guess. Anyway, I'm excited to be on the road again. I'm excited to see a lot of familiar places, but hopefully see a lot of new ones too. I've been all over North America, all over America. I've seen a lot of places already, but, but there's still a lot out there that I have yet to see, and so I'm excited to, to see them. So run out with me. I hope you will. Look at this. This is so cool. Ready? Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, the wonder. <laughs>